bucket sushi. Yummy, yummy. <laughs>
I mean, there's just some really cool stuff. Red snapper. All right, I need some more water buckets. Ooh, what are you? I want to stay away from those puffer fish. Oh, hello, Mr. Drowned. You can go bye bye. Go swim with the fishies. Oh, wait! You already are swimming with the fishies. You know, I wonder if, if the drowns are like ex villagers and, and the mafia villagers, you know, put them in cement galoshes and they just went and swam with the fishies at the bottom of the ocean, turned into the drowns, you know, that's that's what I'm going to believe. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the story I'm going with. I want these green fishies! Oh, there you are. What did I get? Clownfish. Okay, I think that wasn't the one I was, I was going for. Where did the green fishy go? I like the green fishy. There's green fishy. Aha! What kind of fish is it? It is a queen angel fish. Cool. You know what? This is kind of like Pokemon Go. We're going to have to collect them all. I don't know how many different types of fish there are. But I, I think it'd just be really cool to fill our kelp tank with fish. I want that other green one. Where did it go? Hard to see amongst the kelp. This is cool. Underwater ravine. Oh, oh, oh. There's bubble columns that are not going to be nice to me. Ooh, and we found an underwater sunken boat. I wonder if this one's been raided yet. Can I get in before those drowns catch me? Let's see. Yeah, this one's been hit. Okay, moving on. My potions have run out, and I didn't even realize because I was underwater that it is nighttime, so I need to get to some safety here, or I could hunt... I suppose I could hunt some creepers and get some gunpowder. Die! Die, creeper! Give me your... Give, give me your creepery bits! Ha! Gaia. Let's see if I can do a precision landing so I don't have to be above ground with these mobs for too long. Oh, there's... Yeah, this is not going to be a good idea. I'm heading into spawn house to sleep. Just woke up and there's zombies outside. They need to burn in the sun. Burn. Aha! Oh! Creeper, we don't want creeper blowing things up! Let's get out of here! I don't want the, the, the spawn area getting blown up. Okay, here's a creeper I can take out safely. Die, give me your bits. Give me your creeper juice. Aha! There we go. Creepers drop rocket fuel. Oh, there's a bunch of creepers over by the kelp farm. I'll need to go deal with those interlopers. All right. I might need to invest in rent a cat because cats scare away creepers. And the worst thing I think that could happen would be that a creeper blows up the kelp farm. And I've got lag. If a creeper exploded right outside the kelp farm, that would be a really bad thing. All right, let's 
do your security check. Make sure that there's no more creepers looking to explode around here. I cannot get this whole elytra thing to work out properly. Talking about that, I was on top of the kelp farm and I accidentally uh, fell off and uh, died. Then as I was trying to get my stuff, because I didn't have everything, uh, a husk came along and killed me. Then when I was trying to get my stuff back that the, that the husk killed me from, a baby husk came along and killed me. Yeah, so that's three more deaths all in a row. And just a short while ago before I started recording, I accidentally was AFKing out here uh, to go do something. It became dark and a husk killed me. So, I'm not sure at this point what our death count is. You'll know because it just popped up on your screen. But, uh, yeah, I, 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 I'm, uh, I'm just not doing too well on the whole not dying thing. Yeah. <sighs> well, hopefully after episode 9, starting episode 10, starting episode 10, I'm not going to die anymore. So, um, yeah, zero deaths after episode 10. That's that's kind of what I'm going... You, you don't believe me, do you? No? Okay. All right, well, yeah. Okay, so we've got um, inventory full of fishies. And we're just going to put these into our tanks. We'll just go up here where there isn't any kelp. Let's just um, drop you off. Actually, I can just do it from up here. That's probably the easier thing to do. Okay, let's drop you off. Um, yeah, let's drop you off here. Oh, well enough. Okay. Um, how many do we've got left? We have seven left. So let's put two more in this tank. And I'll I'll go and find some more later, and we'll just like fill fill this with fishies. But we're just gonna get started here. Let's put you in there, and now let's put a few of these fish in this tank here, and they'll swim around, and they'll make it all look really nice. This is definitely something I did not expect with this update that you could catch fish and put them in. Um, <laughs> I've always thought that having aquariums where you could have fish swimming around would be a really cool thing, and it's just not something that was ever, you know, doable in Minecraft, and I think this is really cool that we can do it. So up next, kelp collection system. This is going to be the best kelp farm in the world. <laughs> All right, let's get at it. So I just want to show you just how well this kelp farm has been producing. Here we go. <laughs> we are getting a good chunk out of the smelter here from our farm, and I am turning it all back into fuel, which then goes into the smelter to smelt more of it. So yeah, I'm just kind of cycling it through, and uh, we'll see how much we get. All right, time to do a test on this thing. I am going to throw down some blocks on the end here, just as uh, test blocks. I want to see how these new water mechanics are going to work holding down the shift. All right, so let's lay down a couple blocks to put our water up against. And I've only got a few. I didn't get a full set of blocks here. But this should be enough just to kind of end cap off this area. And I really don't know how this is going to work because I don't know how water is going to interact with water, if that makes sense. So let's get some water going up here. And let's get rid of this. And let's throw water 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 uh, okay this is not working 
quite as I'd hoped. What happens if we throw an item into this? Let's just throw a fishy in here. Actually, that might be good enough. That might work. Let's try again. Fishy. Okay. Um, let's recollect all this water. And I'm going to go and get some hoppers. And, ah, uh, no, I want to get rid of them. Yeah, okay. I'll get rid of the water. Throw the water in there. But also, I'm going to need to build this whole thing up a little bit, I think. Because uh, this is this water's at level 23. Kelp can grow up to level 24. And so uh, we need to build this whole thing up an extra level, I think. But I need to put hoppers down. So, um, yeah. Let's see. <laughs> So I've just been looking around and I don't think that I have anywhere near enough iron in order to make the hoppers I'm going to need for, oh, there is some iron here, um, but I don't think I'm going to have anywhere near enough iron for uh, the hoppers I'm going to need to make. So I think that it's time to go and have a quick peek. Now let me just throw this iron in these furnaces I've got here and it can smelt away. Actually, let me just take half of half of this out of here and throw it into uh, throw part of it into this one and part of it into this one. All right, we're going to go take a look over at Silver Platinum's trading area and see what kind of a deal he's offering at the moment on iron because that might be a much easier way for us to get the iron that we need for this project. And uh, one of the benefits to having the kelp farm is that it's a really easy way to launch off with the elytra. Well, most of the time, uh, except for when it fails and then I splatter everything all over the ground below, but for the most part, it seems to work. Okay, so if I'm looking at the color scheme here, I'm guessing that gray equals iron. Today, 40 iron for one diamond. Tomorrow, 32 iron for one diamond. Um, yeah, let's... Uh, no, is that iron or is that iron... Okay, and there's not a whole ton there, so I'm going to grab my shulker box. I've dyed my shulker box the cayenne color because it um, is close to the same color as diamonds. Um, hello? Server lag. All right, I don't know what's going on there with the server lag, but I just relogged and it seems to be working now. So opening up the cayenne... Uh, shulker box, which represents diamond color, in my mind anyway. So we are looking at 40 for 1. So, let's do... Um, there are 7 there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And just to keep things straight... We are going to replace the diamond spot, I'm sorry, the iron spot with the diamond. That way when silver comes to look, it's really clear that we paid the right price. There we go. All right, I don't know if we have enough, but we're gonna try. I know I have a whole pile of regular chests laying around somewhere, but I don't know where they are. I've got to try to find them. Oh, sweet. We've got more quartz. I didn't realize we had that. I'm going to need that for this project. Sweet. I really need to get my stuff organized. We're going to do... Uh, I, might as well, I might as well tell you now. So we are going to try to get rid of as much of our junk as we can. And uh, how do you get rid of junk when you've got junk at home? Well, yeah, the yard sale. And so we are going to have a huge... Oh, there's, there's from the chest. Let's get this. Uh, we are going to have a huge yard sale here on the server. And so how, how, how are you going to do that, you ask? Well, we are going to set up a little 
uh, yard sale area outside of our hidey hole, outside of the hideout hole here. And I think we're going to need to get everybody's attention by putting up a big, huge sign that says uh, yard sale. Um, so I think that's what we're going to do. Uh, I want to get rid of all the junk and I want to see if I can make some diamonds off of it. You know, and by junk, what I really mean is stuff that I'm not going to use, but some of the other players might use. Uh, you never know what you're going to need, and you never know what might be useful for somebody else. So instead of just dumping everything in lava like you know I would normally do, I am going to see if we can sell some of our junk. Ooh, it's nighttime! Nope, 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 going back down. Gonna sleep the night away. <laughs> We are back on top of the kelp farm, and I've got a starter block going on here. I'm going to put one, uh, if I can look at it and get the right thing in my hot bar. Okay. A block, just so that we have something to aim at here. And we're going to lay down our hoppers going, oh, I need to get more hoppers in my hot bar. We're going to lay down the hoppers going all along this way. Then we're going to build the water up and try to get the water to push our kelp into these hoppers and that'll collect it all into a chest at the end and you know maybe we should also think about making it automatically smelt the kelp uh, in a furnace or two at the end that that could be something to think about all right how many more do i need one two three four five six seven eight Eight more hoppers. Let me go and make those. Whew. That was almost a death. So all of the hoppers are in place and I've raised the entire edge one block, which is actually why I'm going to try to uh, stick. Nope. Let's try another go around, which is why I'm actually going to have to um, try landing on this thing. There we go, because I can't hop out now because the water is too low for me to hop out. So next step is to see if I can put the water in here. Ah, looks like it's gonna work. Perfect. Let's get a, nope, nope, nope. There we go. Let's see about getting water in on the other side boop, boop, boop. all right that's gonna work I'm gonna do the rest of this and move on to the next step water is in place so the next step is going to be building up another ridge along the edge here so let's get our block we're going to shift hold place that, um, I'm on the, precariously on the edge, there we go. And then we're going to get rid of this block because we're going to trim this up with some decorative uh, steps underneath, I believe. So, uh, actually, um, yeah, that's what we're going to do. Um, so I'm going to do this all the way around and we will then place the next layer of water. Retainer wall is in place. We've got some glowstone there to reduce the potential of mob spawning up here. The next step and the final step to the functional construction apart from decorative work is to put the water in these sections here, which should make the kelp flow into the hoppers once uh, we go down there and break it. At least that's the theory. So... Water is going to be placed in here, like this. Oh, it looks like I'm going to have to do every single block. Okay. So, we're going to put water all along here, all along here. Once that's done, we should be able to break all the kelp and test it. So, apparently kelp grows up to level 25. Whoops. I'm going to have to raise all of this by one more block. I'm going to do that off cam. One thing that I am not is a technical Minecrafter, but I think I have cracked this nut. I figured out how to get the water to flow the items into the hoppers without 
having issues with the kelp growing, etc. Let's take a look to see what I have done in here. So it this took a little bit to figure out, but just above the kelp are fences. The fences now get waterlogged, and so water sources can be inside the fences. Now the fences will prevent the kelp from growing because I discovered that it will grow above what it's supposed is supposed to be its maximum height. I, I don't understand that, but it's a thing and it happened. So the fence gates prevent the kelp from growing, which means that I can then put flowing water on top without it being turned into source blocks by the kelp. The doors are the only item I could find that don't get waterlogged, but will allow items to pass through. So they prevent the um, water from continuing, meaning that it doesn't join with the water on the other side, creating all source blocks and allows for flowing water. So when I go down and I break the kelp and it floats up, it should get pushed into the center and into the hoppers below, which then head this way. That's the plan. So the next thing that I need to do is create a collection system down here. And I think I'm gonna have to create a bit of a room, a collection system and a smelting system. But that is going to have to happen in the next episode. I have completely run out of time for this episode today. So we will test this whole system out in the next episode once I've created a collection system underneath. And we didn't get to it today, but we are going to do that yard sale. So hopefully we'll have time to get to that into the next episode. But that is it for today. I hope that you have enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit the like button. If you are new to this channel, do me a favor, hit the subscribe button. And that would really help me out. But this has been Game Park coming to you from on top of the massive kelp farm. And good night.